After receiving death threats from anonymous drug traffickers, this Nigerian said Kolani should do to his fellow Nigerians, which is how the idea for Suzak came to be. According to reports, Tyler visited Kumalo and a handful of his buddies when they were protecting the Tembiza neighborhood in July 2021 during the riots. By using force as necessary, Kobalo and his crew put an end to drug usage and criminal activity on the program. Kolani's unwavering stance against crime and drugs was praised during the premiere of Gauteng by Yaza Lusufi, who has since launched his own anti-drug campaign against Nile. Many people are also in awe of the work that Kumalo and his crew produce, and each time a new episode of the show airs, they are given flowers in appreciation for the excellent work they produce. One Nigerian, in particular, feels that Kolani is not doing enough and has suggested that after he has caught the drug dealers, specifically Nigerians, he should cut their hands off. This cost us there on social media with some supporting the guy's idea and some claiming he's also partly a drug dealer looking for sympathy from Senswell. I love you, keep doing what you're doing. But there's something you're doing that I don't like, which is why I'm making this video. It's great that you're busting drug dealers and all that, but there's something you should be doing to them that you aren't. So I'm bringing it up. For example, I recommend that you always cut one of your hands up, yes cut one of theirs, when you cast people from Nigeria who are selling drugs.